Six months. That's how long it took for the world as we knew it to come to an end. The Bible preached the world would end in fire and war. It ended in plagues and hunger. All brought on by the technology built to protect us. Conventional weapons weren't enough. We built more powerful weapons. Weapons capable of spreading disease, plagues, or hunger. Weapons designed to do the unimaginable. And in the end, it took one man with one weapon. Hey man, you ready? Give me a second, man. I'm trying to get the TV working. Why are you bothering? Don't you listen to the radio? Duh. No, you don't. Anyway, TV, cable, and phone. Been out since last night. Radio DJs are loving it. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? It means we have no TV and no telephones. They're out of service. They don't know what's going on. <sighs> well, Connor, it looks like all you're getting is video games or outside playtime today. Whatever, Dad. God, you're such a tool. Where does he learn this? Hey, I don't teach him this shit. All right, man, let's get rolling. Got your gun? Check. Got your smokes? Check. Got your... Oh, hey, Michelle. Hey, Gary. What the hell are we talking about? Uh, the checklist? Oh, yeah, right. Dude, you look like you've been out partying all night. What am I not out partying? Isn't divorce the best thing ever? <sighs> all right, let's go. 
All right, will you be safe? And you. Me? Yeah. If he comes back with one scratch. I know, I know. If there's one scratch on him, there's a foot in my ass. Divorce has made you smarter. Yeah, 10 out of 10 lawyers recommend it, hon. All right. Well, Munchkin and I fend for ourselves today. Don't worry about us. Speak for yourself, Mom. You know, that kid of yours reminds me of someone. <laughs> yeah, you with all the smart aleck comments and shit. Somebody had to teach him, right? Ooh, when did you get that piece of shit? That piece of shit does zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Much more than I can say for your car there, Slim. You ready? Yeah. You sure you're ready? Yeah, man. All right. Feeling that in the morning. Somebody was out partying worse than I was. <laughs> Is that fucking possible? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything's possible. The only people I knew that party harder than you were Hendrix and fucking Morrison, and they're both dead. <laughs> hey, Keith Richards. Keith Richards is an anomaly in this fucking universe. He's not even from this planet. You're doing good. You're doing good. You, you know, you 
you know the little one, he's very, very active, let's put it that way. <laughs> but, you know, he's doing much better this year than he has. So. Man, I'll tell you what, that kid, I swear to God, if I didn't know any better, I think he, uh, he's, he's got to be smarter than I am. I mean, some of the shit that comes out of his mouth that don't is take absolutely... <laughs> You know what? Fuck you! <laughs> and the horse I rode in on, right? Yeah, him too. So are you guys bummed there's like no TV today? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you guys are done your ice creams, you can go out and play on the trampoline. Cool. Okay. Do you have any plans this weekend? Well, my dad's taking me to the carnival. How is he? Cool. Are we doing anything this weekend, Mom? I don't know yet. I'll have to talk to your dad. Hey, maybe you can come to the carnival with me and my dad. Can I, Mom? We'll see. Well, here we are. About time. Hey, man. You don't want me to get another ticket, do you? Hey, your license is not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Drank enough targets yet? I'm working on it, man. Got my third one down there. Got two for you to go. Don't worry. The day's young. Get in there. All right, that should be good to go. You want me to set up the targets? to get us started. It's going to end up being a really short day. <laughs> well, if you drink more. I'm working on it. <laughs> hey, I've been meaning to ask you a question. Oh yeah, what's that? Why is it exactly you dress like that again? Need I remind you, the 80s ended 20 years ago.
Within minutes, the report spread across the globe. Even without the TV, radio was able to spread the news of the attacks. Citizens in the affected cities began to panic, and with each passing hour, the reports of violence and fighting increased. All the preparation and security measures for the last eight years did nothing to prevent the events that unfolded that morning. As the night fell upon us, the news spread further, as did the panic and violence. Five major U.S. cities that are under attack are preparing for FEMA emergency officials to uh, begin setting up these rescue shelters in their area. It is advised that all residences try to make their way to those shelters. Outer loop of the Capitol Beltway 495 are all jammed. At this time, alternate routes to evacuation centers are suggested. Once again, routes 270, Interstate 70, Interstate 95, 695, and the Capitol Beltway, Interstate 495, are jammed. Please use alternate routes to reach evacuation centers at this time. Authorities have alerted us that the reports of violence have increased tenfold since the attack this morning. Of assault, battery, and even murder have been reported in all parts of the city. Those closer to the ground zero blast zone seem to be affected the worst. Citizens have been uh, making reports that people are being attacked. got three teeth. You're gonna stop if somebody asks who has three teeth. It does, he's a local. He's gonna know the area. All gas station attendants know the area. I'm tired. He's a local. He's gonna know where yeah, Look, you know, I'm tired of just my thumb. take a hike down there around the corner and just see what's up. Good idea. All right, I'll be back. Hold down the corner. Right.
Lena, I, I don't know. They, they should be here in about 15 minutes. I can't get in by myself. How quick can you get us back to the house? Based on what the radio said, who the fuck knows? Then we better get going. Nothing. We mean nothing. I mean nothing. I mean I walk down a mile and I walk back a mile. Yeah. And there's twice as many cars as down here, but there's nobody there. There's no drivers, no riders, no cops. Nothing. Radio stations in our area told of rescue shelters. The shelters were beginning to open to the public and military personnel were there to help and protect those who sought shelter. Gentlemen, you've been sent here to help secure the shelter. I cannot go into exact details at this time, but your main objective is security. The radio station will be broadcasting that shelters have been opened in the area. Everyone, I mean everyone, entering the shelter is to be checked for weapons. How do we handle people that don't want to follow directions, don't want to listen to us, that kind of stuff, you know, get hysterical? You do what you always do. You deal with them on a communication level, one to one. You calm them down. The use of force is not authorized, okay? But in a last resort, Options have been exhausted. Do what you got. Am I clear? Crystal. Okay, you have your watch. Okay, listen up. We have our orders. Under no circumstances are we to stray from those. This is bullshit. I got dragged out of my bed to come down here and babysit? This is the job, son. This is what you joined for to serve and protect your country. Once everyone has arrived and settled in, sentry rounds will begin. On the hour, starting at 2100, we will rotate out two hour shifts. Abel, you have first watch. Fuck! Dismiss. Do you have any weapons on your person? Raise your hands up for me. Are you ready? One at a time. Do you have any weapons on your person? Do you have a weapon on me to tell you? Look, we're just doing our job. Okay, you're right.
police. How many people are inside? Uh, two. My son and I. All right. We have a terrorist attack. And we have some rioting going on. So if you could please close your windows, lock them up, lock the door. Appreciate it. Okay. We'll do. Thank you.
He's on. Okay, good. What's good. wrong? We gotta go. Why? Uh, we just do. Where's Dad? Um, uh, I don't know. We're gonna go find him. Okay. Okay? What about Sirius? We'll go get him. Come on. Okay. Downstairs. Come on. Downstairs, boy. Connor, you just stay here, okay? Downstairs. Come on. Got the map? Yeah, I got it. No matter what we do, we're at least going to have to spend some time on Route 100. What is the least amount of time we can spend on that road? Well, we can take 175 and bypass a few miles of Route 100, but either way, we are going to end up on the highway. All right, fuck it. Let's do it.
Do you have any weapons on your person? Okay, spread your hands. Spread your feet for me. Did you, did you uh, take your bag, sir? Freeze! Don't move! Don't shoot! Who are you? Where'd you come from? Look, I just came from Memorial Parkway. It's a fucking slaughter out there. I just need to see who's in charge here. I said don't move! Look, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm not one of them. One of who? Look, I don't have time for this. I need to see who's in charge here, now! All right, it's Tom Anderson. Go in that door. Thank you. God, what the hell is going on? I don't know. Is Gary and Brian here? No. See, you got Connor. We should get him inside. Yeah. Connor, honey. Come on, we gotta get out of the car. Yeah, we gotta get inside. It's a lot safer inside than it is out here. Believe me. Yeah, come on, baby. We gotta go. We gotta go in. It's safe in there. Come on, honey. Come on, let's get inside. I'm telling you, it's not safe here. What am I supposed to do? I just want to know. In a few minutes, I'm supposed to go up in front of these people and tell them. What am I supposed to tell them? How about the truth? Look, you know why we're here. Hell, I've seen why we're here. Now listen to me. A lot of these people here, they haven't got a clue. But some of them do. And the last thing these people need are lies. completely abandoned out here. I wanna go take a walk. Are you out of your fucking mind? Dude, we haven't seen anybody for hours! Oh, Christ, I do not have a good feeling about this. Well, fuck this, I'm taking a walk. Jesus, look at the front. I think she's dead. 
very observant there, Captain of the Obvious. <laughs>
Michelle? Connor, you here? Dude, I told you they're not here. The car is not here. You're right. You hear that? I think that's the dog. Michelle, Connor, you down here? Kevin's. Isn't he some kind of uh, survivalist gun nut? Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Um, no bullshit considering the situation. It sounds like a safe place to be right now. That's probably what she was thinking too. What about the fucking mutt? Cirrus, we'll come back for you later. They made it.
Hey man, what are you up to? Man, you really gotta learn how to clean this fucking car. So what's up, man? Nothing, just thinking. Thinking about what? I don't know. Thinking it's been six months and I don't know, thinking maybe we should move on and look for some place more secure. More secure? Jeez, man, we're out here in the middle of nowhere and we've had zero problems for six months. What are you so worried about it now for? Just a gut feeling and instinct, I guess. Hey, man, I got a wife and a kid to think about, not to mention my brother and now you. What exactly are you suggesting we do? Suggesting we start considering other options. I mean, every time we go out, we find less and less. <laughs> we keep going further and further. You know, it's... You know, right now we got enough food and supplies to last, what, a month? Six weeks at best? Then what? Simple. We go out and we find more supplies and more food. <laughs> it's not that simple, man. What happens when there are no more supplies and no more food? We keep looking. You can't give up. I'm not giving up. I'm trying to think ahead, you know? I mean, right now, today, tomorrow, <sighs> next week, we'll probably be fine. But sooner or later, something's going to happen. And, you know, I'm just saying, we got to stop assuming we're safe. But wait. <laughs> Dude, look. Those things wiped out an entire city in three weeks. The entire country in three months. It's been over a month since we've heard anything on the shortwave radio. You know, I'm really starting to think we're the only ones left. I, no, I don't believe that, and I don't think you do either. You're just being paranoid. I'm not being paranoid, you know. I'm just... Look, you and I, we're a couple of average guys, you know. I mean, people ten times smarter than us are either dead or up and walking around like the rest of those things. Just saying we gotta start thinking smarter, that's all. Well, I think we should probably discuss this with Michelle and Kevin before we make any definite plans. We need to start thinking more defensively. You know, we're just becoming way too comfortable up here. That's all I'm saying. Hey, by the way, um, Kevin and I are gonna go look around the city today. You feel like coming? Nah, I gotta do some inventory and make some more shells, you know, but while you're out there, you find some more ammo. It would help. Will do. Hey, you really think we're the only ones left? I do think about it from time to time. You know, I think about who made it, who didn't, and then one day I just realize now is what matters most. What about you? No. Some. Two cases of water and two cans of gas. Dude, there's nothing left back in town. I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. This is all we could find. Out there. What's a cricket bed? Added insurance. Nice. So here we are, a different world, a different time. Nothing looks different, but everything changed, including the fight for survival. The question is, will it be us or them?
that somebody coming out there? Oh my god. They made it. Hey man, what are you up to? I man, you really gotta learn how to clean this fucking car. So what's up, man? Nothing, just thinking. Thinking about what? I don't know. Thinking it's been six months, and I don't know, thinking maybe we should move on, look for some place more secure. More secure? Jeez, man, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, and we've had zero problems for six months. What are you so worried about it now for? Just a gut feeling and instinct, I guess. Hey, man, I got a wife and a kid to think about, not to mention my brother, and now you. What exactly are you suggesting we do? Suggesting we start considering other options. I mean, every time we go out, we find less and less. <laughs> we keep going further and further. You know, it's... You know, right now we got enough food and supplies to last, what, a month? Six weeks at best? Then what? Simple. We go out and we find more supplies and more food. It's not that simple, man. What happens when there are no more supplies and no more food? We keep looking. You can't give up. I'm not giving up. I'm trying to think ahead, you know? I mean, right now, today, tomorrow, <sighs> next week, we'll probably be fine. But sooner or later, something's going to happen. And, you know, I'm just saying, we got to stop assuming we're safe. But wait... <laughs> Dude, look. Those things wiped out an entire city in three weeks. The entire country in three months. It's been over a month since we've heard anything on the shortwave radio. You know, I'm really starting to think we're the only ones left. I, no, I don't believe that, and I don't think you do either. You're just being paranoid. I'm not being paranoid, you know. I'm just... Look, you and I, we're a couple of average guys, you know. I mean, people ten times smarter than us are either dead or up and walking around like the rest of those things. Just saying we got to start thinking smarter, that's all. Well... I think we should probably discuss this with Michelle and Kevin before we make any definite plans. We need to start thinking more defensively. You know, we're just becoming way too comfortable up here. That's all I'm saying. Hey, by the way, um, Kevin and I are going to go look around the city today. You feel like coming? Nah, I got to do some inventory and make some more shells, you know. But while you're out there, you find some more ammo. It would help. Will do. You really think we're the only ones left? I do think about it from time to time. You know, I think about who made it, who didn't, and then one day I just realize now is what matters most. What about you? No. Some. Two cases of water and two cans of gas. Dude, there's nothing uh -huh. left back in town. I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. This is all we could find. Out there. What's a creek bed? Added insurance. Nice. <laughs>